Gerald Wayne Carell Jr. Um, was a petty officer first class when I uh, left the uh, Navy. My next ship was a uh, the USS Reland FF 1068, which was a Knox class frigate, uh, single screw frigate. Um, and I completed my enlistment uh, on the uh, Reland. Um, did a med cruise. And while on the med cruise, this was back in, um, I'm trying to think of the time, let me see here. Uh, oh, while, while I was on board, again, in weapons division, uh, I was uh, assigned, uh, I was officer of the deck import, uh, duty weapons officer import, and uh, uh, a leading petty officer in my, my division. Silverman, uh, weapons handler. Uh, but while we uh, was on board, we did uh, uh, go on a med cruise uh, in 1982. Uh, at a time when uh, Omar Gaddafi was uh, claiming uh, the whole Gulf from one tip to the other as his, which was basically international waters, and. I would say we kind of did things to entice him to react. Uh, and during that time, we had some great ports visits set up. Um, but this was the time when the PLO were uh, trapped in Beirut. Uh, we had the uh, Beirut uh, crisis, and President Reagan had uh, uh, brokered a deal where the United States would evacuate the PLO from Beirut. So we were one of the ships tasked to do that. And I remember entering port and we could see smoke. We had Marines on the beach, of course. Uh, we could see the smoke coming up from the beach and uh, there were Syrian gunboats floating around with their guns turned up. I guess they wanted to make sure we didn't shoot them out of the water but there were a number of U.S. ships. But we transited the Suez Canal a few times, uh, escorting Greek ferry boats full of PLO and their families. So we escorted the very first one, and the only things they were supposed to take with them were their families, they could take their sidearms, but no heavy weaponry. Well, we get a call from captain of the ferry boat that they had brought on some heavy weapons. So we had to force them, I, I forget where we went, uh, to offload their heavy weapons. Then we began to transit and head toward the uh, Suez Canal. And because these Greek ferry boats don't carry that many people, they ran out of fresh water. So we had a crisis because, one, they were all on edge to begin with and uh, really tensions were a little high. So we came up with the idea, our captain, who I'm very good friends with, uh, Ron Calvin was the captain of the Greenland at the time. We came up with uh, the idea that we would back the ship down uh, to the, the stern of the ship toward the ferry boat. We threw over lines, we drove, we drove over portable water lines and pumped fresh water back to the ship. So that solved that crisis, and then we were able to take them through the Suez Canal. And I think we did that a couple times. So we yes, yes and, and we had no other incidents during that time. Um, so that was a very interesting time for us. 